I'm Richard Curtis. I work for Adobe. I'm a local UK contact for digital imaging. So I look after Photoshop, Lightroom, Creative Cloud, Photoshop Elements, and everything to do with digital imaging here at Adobe. I want to show you an old technique in Photoshop, and that technique is content-aware scale. So let's open this image here. So under certain situations, I may want to resize this image, either make it smaller or make it larger. And uh, using traditional techniques like canvas size on the transform tool uh, is going to force everything to resize. But I may want just to have certain parts of the scene to be protected. So for example, in this case, I'd like to resize the image and resize the mountains and resize the uh, grass down here, but actually keep these hikers in perspective as they are now and, and not change them. And to do that, I can use Content Aware Scale. So let's, let's do a resize on this first of all so you can see what will happen if I don't use Content Aware Scale. So the first thing I'm going to do is to unlock this background layer just by using the Alt key and unlock that. Then I can press Command T and that will open the Transform tool which I can then transform the image. And you can see there that everything is transformed. So let's just close that down. Now, for Content Aware Scale to work, I need to tell Photoshop what to protect. So to do that, I need to select the area and then make an alpha channel. So today I'm just going to use a quick mask. So I'm going to press the Q key on the keyboard to turn Photoshop into quick mask mode. And then use the brush and zoom in. I'm going to use the brush to paint the areas of the scene that I would like to include as part of my selection. So I'm just going to paint those in. And you can see that red mask is now appearing. I can remove the red mask by pressing the Q key again to revert back to selection mode. Now, what that's done is that's selected the whole area and not the hikers. So I need to inverse that selection, and I can do that using Select Inverse. And now I have just the hikers selected. The Content Aware Scale doesn't like working with the selection on the image, so I need to convert the selection to a channel or a mask. So I go to Select and Save that selection. I'm going to give that selection a name. In this case, I'll call it Hikers, and press OK. Let's just have a look at the channels to see what's happened. So go to Window, Channels, and you can see here that I have now my Hikers Mask, my Hikers Alpha Channel. Okay, let's close that down. And I need now to deselect the selection using Command D or select Deselect. Now I'm ready to use the Content Aware Scale tool. So under the Edit menu, I've got Content Aware Scale. And Content Aware Scale then gives me the handles like I had before in the Transform. But by default, if I try and resize, the image is resized exactly the same way as a normal Transform or Canvas Size tool. So let's look at the Options menu of the tool. And you can see on the Options menu, you have a way to protect something. Let's open this combo box up, and you can see there we can protect the alpha channel hikers that we created earlier. So let's just select that. Let's now resize the image by grabbing the handle. In this case, the hikers keep the same size as they originally were. They just get moved around based on the resize. Now you've got this other option here called the amount, and the amount is how much in percentage to keep the hikers at the original size. And at 100%, you'll keep the hikers at the original size. If you make that 50%, you'll make the hikers 50% smaller than the original size or up to 50% larger than the original size. And you can see that working there. You can protect the skin tones as well as part of the content aware scale. So now I've got everything protected. I'm just going to turn the amount back up to 100. And I'm going to resize the picture and see the mountains get bigger. Everything gets scaled using Content Aware. The hiker stays exactly the same height because I've got 100% turned on. And now I've finished my resize. 
I hope that was useful and you enjoyed that session. Thanks very much.